Hey everyone, welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a little border around an image and to just distort it a bit like this. Gives the images a nice look. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my image open here and you can see it's a background layer. I'm just going to unlock it and I'm going to duplicate the layer, Control and J. And then over here, you can see my default colors are black and white. I want to push X to make white my foreground color. On the background layer, which we had, you just want to hold down Alt and Backspace to fill it with white. And select the copy that you've just made. Okay, and now what you want to do, you want to go up to Image and Canvas Size. Because what we're going to do, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be increasing the canvas size on the top, bottom, left and right right so we can create the border around the actual image itself. I have relative clicked here because I know exactly how many pixels I want to increase it by. So if you let's say we want 200 pixels at the top and 200 at the bottom we're going to do the height as 400 and we'll do the same with the width just to keep it all the same and click OK. So that increases it there and I've made a mistake I forgot to do this part so go back to your background layer alt and delete so that you want to do that step after you've increased the canvas size not before glad I've done that so you can see what I've done wrong okay so back to your normal layer what you want to do control and click the thumbnail just over here so you can see the marching ants around your photo and then you want to go to edit and stroke Okay, so the width is 20 pixels <clears throat> for this image. Yours might be different depending on your image size. The color, let's make it black. Okay, and I want it on the outside. So it will go outside of the marching ants, not on the inside, because that will get rid of a bit of the photo itself. And click OK and Control D to deselect it. So once you've got it there, it's looking good already. You can either leave it like that and write your name down there just to give it an extra effect. Or you go Control and T and right click and distort. Or if you don't want to do that, let me just go up here. You want to go to Image, nope, sorry, Edit, Transform and Distort here. I just find the right clicking a lot faster. And by holding down Shift, you want to click on the top right corner or whichever way you want to do it and drag it around like that okay so that looks pretty straight and I just want to move it a bit more centered and click the tick so that's cool that's looking really nice you can add a border around the background as well I'm not going to but you can click hold control click the thumbnail and do the same steps as we did before and now to add the text in, I'm just going to go to my type tool, push in T or just finding it on your toolbar, clicking and typing what you want. So I'm just going to write anything pixels. Go back to your move tool, move it around, control T, right click. Now I'm going to skew this one. It seems to be snapping for some reason. There we go. And just bringing it wherever you want and hit in the enter key and once you've done that you can either go to your crop tool and crop the whole thing out just to get rid of a bit of the white space and hit enter so that's one way of doing it hope you found this tutorial helpful please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable the notification so you can see my future videos thank you